Hi guys, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video we are going to see how to send mail using automation anywhere a 360. If you have not seen my video on reading emails, I would recommend you to check that video out. I am going to cover send email, reply to email and forward email actions in this session. I will also show how to attach multiple attachments to email. Let's get started. I will be editing same bot we created in our last video. Our first action is send email. This action does not require connect and disconnect session. In action properties, specify email address you want to send mail to. I have added email address in a string variable. Similarly, you can add CC and BCC for your email if required. Add email subject to respective section. If you want to send some attachments, we can use list variable or provide list manually. We will see that in later part of video. In message section, add the main mail body like salutation, message, table and signature etc. I am using MSN Outlook, so we will be opting for email server option. To send email we need SMTP server details of your email provider. Specify the sender mail in email from section of action property. Using simple Google search you can find SMTP server information like host name and port number for all popular mail provider. Select the secure mail connection as per your mail provider. In my case it will be true. Our mail server needs authentication, so we will select true and to provide username password I will use Credential Vault. If you want to learn about Credential Vault, I will add card for my video on Credential Vault, you can check that out. Now let's save the bot and run it using the option run from this step. As you can see, we have successfully sent an email using bot. Now let us see reply email action, this action can only be used inside read mail loop. Before we move ahead let us disable actions that we don't need in this demo. Now drag and drop the reply action inside the read email loop. If you see the action properties of reply action, it's almost same as the send action. Reply action does not contain email from email to subject sections in its properties. Fill the details as we filled for send action or you can replicate the steps shown on the screen. I have following mails for test in my mailbox. Our bot will read all these mails and reply to respective user. Please note, while checking results we will only check replies sent to single mailbox. Let's run the bot and see results. If you find this video helpful, please like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos on RPA. Feel free to share your thoughts in comment section. Our bot ran successfully and has replied to all mails from this particular mailbox. Now let us create a bot that will forward email from mailbox along with attaching multiple files present in desktop location. First, we will disable actions we don't need for this demo. Second, to send multiple attachments, we need list variable of file type. I have created a list variable named L attachments of file type with no default values.
Before we use this variable in our action we need to make sure it's empty before adding required file locations. To do this search for list package and drag and drop clear action. Choose our list variable L attachments. Now take a loop action and choose iterator as each file in folder. Specify the folder path for attachment files in respective section. It's recommended to use variable to store this path, for demo purpose I am using it directly. To store each iteration values, create a record variable and add it in respective section. Now create a file type variable to store complete path of files. I have named it as file details. Now select the file assign action and add it inside our newly created loop. In value to assign section, add the folder path followed by the dictionary variable with key name dot dictionary variable with key extension. Assign this value to file type variable file details. Now take list add item action. Select L attachments in list variable value. In item to be added section select the file type variable file details. Keep the add item to end radio button selected. Now let's add forward mail action. Properties for forward action and reply action are same. To add attachments, just specify our list variable L attachments in attachments section. All other details are same as previous commands. You can follow steps on screen. Before we run the bot, let's re-verify all actions. The forward action is supposed to be outside each file in folder loop. Drag it outside the loop and run the bot. For this demo, we only have single mail in mailbox. Our bot should forward it to specified mail along with additional attachments. Our bot ran successfully, and you can see it has forwarded mail with additional attachments. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to RPA Stuff for more videos on RPA.